Welcome back to Let's Play Medieval 2 Total War England Campaign Episode the 91st with me Squawker. And when we left off we had done a few fights, well we did a fight, we managed to keep the Sicilians out of Cagliari, however now Cagliari is caught cold. As has every other bleeding town I have. Yes, it's the Black Death, the Great Plague, the Great Mortality is absolutely ruining shit for us. Uh, basically, a lot of my towns have the plague and are just basically crapping out the population. So, um, life ain't good for us. And life got worse for us when the Hungarians decided that they didn't like us. But we've seen this coming for a while. I do have a garrison in the vicinity. So, we are going to march out and we are going to deal with this new army led by Captain Vilmos. Now, this army could be tough because it's got a, quite a high strength banner, but at the same time, we could beat it. We'll just need to go out and we'll just need to see what they are sending our way. What do we know about them so far? I look forward to fighting you. Okay, so we are looking at town militia, so that doesn't really scare me. Crossbowmen. Croat Axpen, they're a new unit, however. Uh, look like sort of like the woodsman unit, so they're just going to be an anti-axe unit. But then again, they said they're hardy warriors, two-handed axes. But they're also just light armor. However, they're good at smashing up archers and poor quality troops. So um, these guys are sort of just like rushy damage dealers. Balkan archers, I am aware of. They're absolute bastards, so they'll be fun to deal with again. Slav mercenaries, they look like just your average uh, spear unit. Um, in fact, they're actually just mercenaries, aren't they? Uh, some more town militia, spear militia, and a few Croat axemen, and quite a bit of artillery. Um, okay. It looks like really kind of a weak and flabby army, so we might just be able to break up with our artillery and our longbowmen. But we'll never know until we actually get into this fight, so we're going to get into this fight now and see how we play against the... Men of the land that always needs more food. By the way, this is Maximilian Sailor. He likes to appear on my map every now and then. We do not care about him, and we'll now make him go away. Right, let's get on with it. To battle it is then, sir. Come on, Francis. Show them why you're called for mauler. We're going to maul them, aren't we? Oh, yes, we are. We're going to maul them good. So, uh, we're going to attack at night, by the way, just to make life harder for my enemy. Uh, Balance power is 2-1 in my favour. Uh, does he have any other fun units, by the way? Uh, he's got a unit of peasant archers and a unit of Pavisa crossbow militia kicking around, so they're always fucking fun to deal with. But apart from that, not really. He's got a lot of artillery, though, so loose formation. I shall lead our forces into battle. Okay, so let's just get our men into position and ready to come out. So uh, the enemy has deployed in a usual position, as in they've just deployed around here. They'll probably move away as soon as uh, we start this battle. So let's get everyone in the town centre and then start moving out. So as it usually goes, we're going to get all our artillery out there and ready to go. So artillery, artillery, artillery. If you lot just want to make your way here and we'll be wheeling you out and well, you'll be ready to go. Um, we're then going to get our longbow units out and about. So we'll get them here. So let's just get them here and we'll be um, loosening them up as we go through this battle. Uh, spears are going to be the main line of attack once more. I know that isn't great, but then again, the enemy doesn't have too much infantry. The Croat Axemen uh, might beat us. However, I think if we hew them down sufficiently with our longbows and with our uh, archers, we should be fine. Heavy build militia, yeah, we can't replenish them here, sadly. Town militia, they'll just guard the centre as well. They'll be a reserve unit. Akbusias, I'm not really intending to bring them into battle once more because there's quite a bit of enemy missile power, to be honest. There's really any heavily armoured units see our computers do too well again so for now I'll just keep them on the walls and they, they can basically just attack anyone who gets a bit too adventurous and tries to get close to us once more they haven't bothered repairing their torn up shirts because they're idiots um, <coughs> anyway um, Archer Militia they'll just do their bits as well and I have to confess something my friends I am slowly dying of a cold once just decided to suddenly move in so um, yeah I apologize um, but they just happen. They always seem to happen near my birthday as well. Even though I know this has just gone up after it. I'm recording it before my birthday. So I'm going to have a fun birthday with a cold now. Bloody brilliant, right? Anyway, let's just get on with this battle. And uh, give the Hungarians what for. Okay. And we'll do my usual hokey cokey. They'll pull back a little bit. So lads, if you want to start moving out, that'd be fantastic. Uh, let's get you lot in the loose formation out here as well, please. Keep it loose, keep it long, and we'll make sure that the enemy doesn't skewer you with their ballistas and their artillery. Spears, I'm going to recommend you also start making your way out quite early on as well, just because 
the enemy does have a habit of suddenly charging our longbow men now, so I want to make sure you guys are out and about and ready. And then Arch Militia as well, I want you in a loose formation as well. If you want to set up a position here, that would be brilliant, and I'll have a general keeping overwatch on you, so let's get you out here, get you there. General, loose formation, keep yourself over here, and await further orders from myself. And that is pretty much everyone moving, so everyone knows the order of the way my things go. We're going to get our lads out. And then we're going to get the R2 to have their fun against the enemy positions. We'll basically try and take out their heavier infantry with the artillery. And let my longbow men slowly take down their archers. I might let my archers do with the archers. Let them just have their own little fight. And then the longbow men can focus on bringing down the pavisas and any of the tougher enemies. With that being said, he hasn't really brought anything heavily armoured, half the Hungarians. So, um, that's our one main blessing there. But then again, we haven't really... You know, Bosmob, this is kind of an alien faction to us at this moment in time. So, um, what they do bring, I don't know. That's just something we'll have to learn. Anyway, Longbow men are getting into position. That being said, um, we haven't gotten close enough to attack the Hungarians. So, um, lads, move it up a little bit closer, please, if you would. Um, oh God, we're gonna, have, yeah, we're gonna have some formation issues today. Uh, that being said, you're going to have to position yourself so that tower isn't in your way. It's a bit of an annoying fuck, I know, and one of the artillery pieces will probably blow it up at some early point in the battle. Alright, uh, some of the enemy units are coming into range for us to attack. So, let's start aiming at them now, actually. We can start taking them out. Right, longbow men, uh, we're being attacked here. Don't bother with your fire arrows. Go for accuracy. Take out those Balkan archers because they will become a serious pain in our asses very soon. Uh, you lot keep moving up and if you could speed up that would be brilliant. Um, Arch Militia if you could get yourselves over here please just just on the top of this hill here you would be in a position where you could cause a lot of trouble for the enemy. Okay so it is now pretty much a battle of the artillery. Um, my artillery is just firing upon the enemy and they are getting some pretty good kills so far. Uh, let's make sure we're all targeting something different so one's targeting the main wing, one's targeting the left wing, one's targeting the right wing. We're going to hit all manners of the spectrum here. And if you lot can just um, wear down the enemy infantry so they do not cause my infantry a lot of problem when we come forward, please. We will uh, we will ensure superiority of this particular battle. Uh, by the way, no need for the fire arrows. I know you like the fire arrows, but we don't really need them because the artillery is good at setting stuff on fire anyway. Uh, our artillery so far has been hitting their tanks quite well. The Pavisas are going to stand around getting ass. You Yeoman, make the Pavisas your problem. They're the ones who are going to be in an absolute nightmare to kill. We've got some uh, crossbowmen also kicking around. Uh, the rest of the enemy army right now is just keeping to the back. So uh, we'll have to wait and get close to them. But we've got a few shots going here and there. Getting a few uh, lucky shots. But it's just slowing down the enemy. Hopefully we can take out some of our artillery by doing this. Uh, whether or not we can, I do not know. But artillery... Actually, you know what? Artillery, try and target our artillery. I'd, I'd rather you try and do that if you can, please. Because if we can target our artillery and bring it down, that'd be brilliant. Oh, there, there goes a bit now, actually. I don't want to make it your main target, but at the same, but at the same time, you tend to undershoot. So um, let's see, let's see what we can do here. Like, let's just see what we can accomplish. And I really want you to try and hit their main line as well. So um, I'm trying to target where they'll uh, have a good chance of just hitting some and some of the uh, enemy positions, many of our artilleries. Okay, how are we looking on uh, getting rid of those archers? They're not doing too well. Keep hitting those mercenary crossbowmen. You keep hitting those peasant archers. You lot here, you've done a fantastic job of just sneaking up on the enemy flank. General, I just want you here so you're ready and waiting to uh, help out should they need to because the Slav mercenaries are coming over to uh, put a stop to me. So, General, I... Oh, God, General, you're miles behind. General, I need you to get up now because the... Uh, Enemy's already worked out what I'm up to. Right, lads. Yeah, it, you are within your rights to skirmish this one away. Get away from your position, and I'm going to have the general move in and try and keep the slap mercenaries off your backs. Even though they're just a bunch of weirdos in pointy wizard hats, they still pose somewhat of a threat to my archers. Okay, how are we doing over here? Yeoman have caused quite a bit of chaos within the enemy ranks now. Guard formations, by the way, and no skirmishing. Uh, I should really have said that earlier, but. Keep hitting whatever you can hit, because right now we're doing a fantastic job. We managed to break into those, those Slavic mercenaries. Uh, we're doing okay against them. Right, archers, come back and take your position, please. And prepare to hit up some more enemies. Right, like how are we doing here? We right, we've got the enemy wavering. Uh, General's bodyguards holding out quite well, so we're not really too worried about losing numbers. 
shots are going everywhere right now. Ooh, good shot there on those crow axes, bro. That was absolutely what I needed. Uh, still got the Balkan archers uh, hanging around, looking to cause me some problems. Yeoman, oh, uh, longbows, target those Balkan archers. I never like them. They're an absolute pain in the bum unit for us to deal with. I know there's peasant archers hanging around, but right now they're idle. So let's try and target their tougher archers rather than their weak ones right now while there isn't a lot going on. While the enemy is quiet. Right, how are we doing against those Slav Mercs? Uh, yeah, we've got them on the run. Good. Right, General. Keep vigil over this particular area of the air uh, of the battlefield. However, we you are going to get shot at soon. Archers, I need you to move in and I need you to basically get to a point where we can start hitting the enemy positions from your new vantage point I have procured you. If you could start weakening those mercenary crossbow men, and if you could start, uh, you know, you lot have permission to use firearms, by the way, just because you don't have as much uh, packing power. Or you lot to try and hit the town militia. General, you just keep below this ditch, and you, you're ba you basically emerge up when something comes and tries to hit us. We'll be ready to respond to them. Right. Artillery, keep on hitting those enemy positions. Keep hitting those crow axes. Keep hitting those uh, other crow axes. And you lot also just keep hitting those crow axes. I want all the crow axes dead, basically. Not that I have any hatred for them, but once more, they're wearing those funny wizard hats. And everyone just has funny hats here. It's funny hat land. Men with funny hats. Right. You lot, get into some of those slab mercenaries. I've decided to come back for round two. Archers, just get yourselves into safety. Try not to skirmish, though. I know skirmishing can save your bacon sometimes, but I'm going to try and micromanage you as well as I can. So for now... General, just get in there. Uh, you lot, target that town militia who's coming over to say hello to us. You lot, yeah, you've got, you've got the Croats on the run. Try, well, not the Croats, just Slavs. Try and finish them off once and for all this time around. Just try and get rid of them so, so we never have to deal with that particular pain in the ass again. And town militia, they're suffering now. Good job, archers. If one of you wants to start uh, trying to hit the Croats, actually, that'd be even better. Because they're the only really unit that gives me any really degree of concern. They're not well armoured at all, but. They're still, they're still gonna basically cause a bit of an issue when we get into the main melee fight for this battle. Right, general, fantastic job. I don't think those Croat axes are coming back or well, well, I don't think anyone's coming back here. Right, try and take out those Balkan axes, make sure they're gone, and I should really not call everything a Croat axe. Alright, so. right, time militia is coming over to say hello again. Archers, pull back. Just skirmish away. Ooh, artillery, you were trying to put a stop to that cheeky little one, weren't you? Alright, general, don't worry about it. The enemy did, decided not to follow through on their attack, and now they're going to suffer the consequences of them again. They might follow up on their attack, I don't know. They're, they're not doing well, but... Alright, you know what. Pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back, because, yeah, this time we're going to commit. Alright, General, get in there and give them, give them, a, give them a shonk in, please. Uh, archers, you make your target now the Axis from Croatia. You lot, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. The enemy's decided not to commit to their attack once more. They're, they're, they commit, then they uncommit, basically. And, ooh, the artillery wants to take out my general, don't they? Well, an honourable intention, not really, but an intention nonetheless. Okay, longbows, how are we doing against those enemy crossbowmen? The pieces are just about non-existent at this point. Keep trying to hit them as well as you can. Uh, just make sure that the way is clear. And the rest of my longbows are going to try and hit them. I think I just heard some artillery getting absolutely wrecked by where so something else has just fallen apart for the enemy. Okay, what am I sending over now? Throw our axes, right? Well, those guys are actually designed to kill archers, so don't... Don't try it, lads. Um, artillery, because those crow axes are trying to so try and just target that one unit of Tamla Shrim general, please. You lot, get the crow axes. They're not going to do well against cavalry. I can already see it now. I know they've got big axes and all that, but they're probably not well, you know, they're probably not well suited to, you know, there. But they're not going to fight defensively. And while they are somewhat hardy warriors because they carry big axes, their morale is, yeah, looks like their morale's just prone to breaking quite quickly. So that's fine. They came across as a low tier unit anyway, even bloody. if they didn't have axes. Alright, General, try, try and keep them low for now. We managed to get them down to less than half their men with barely any melee engagement so far. So, um, I'd like you to look at that. We've got some peasant archers as well coming in to say hello. So, if one of you wants to try and finish off those peasant archers, you want to try and finish off those town militia, that'd be absolutely brilliant. General, you just chase down those crow axes and, and I'll follow up with you when you have something else to do. Artillery, they're just now just trying to hit the enemy general position, so I'm just going to make sure that they're all hitting something useful. I want to try and tag the rear units. I just remember, if I don't have a general this time for me to pick on, it's just a captain. He's somewhere among them. I don't really know who the captain is. It's probably the unit at the very back, actually, with a slightly square flag. I think I've also got lots of slightly square flags, so I don't know. 
Either way. When the captain dies, he dies, and that's really all we can ask for, and we ask for a dead captain, and just look at all the fucking firepower just chucking at the enemy right now. It really is not very healthy for them, and ooh, that wasn't healthy for me, but good thing I was in loose formation to make sure I didn't get skewed. Ooh, that was not good there. Alright, General, maybe you want to just keep yourself out of the way for a little bit. Those blisters do have a horrible tendency to be quite accurate. In fact, if I could get some artillery to try and target those blisters, please. And if one of my archer crews could try and focus on taking down those blister crews, that'd be good. But it looks like archer militia, you now may or less have the attention of the enemy artillery crews. But we are pretty much at the end of our missile phase now. Our longbowmen have run out of ammo, so I'm going to pull them out of the battle now. Um, artillery, yep, yeah, you're just basically just doing what's left of it now. So they're, they're pulling that artillery too far away for us right now. But then again, because they are pulling it quite far away, they're making it quite vulnerable. General, I want you to get in there and I want you to give it a smash in. You lot try and keep the enemy infantry busy for now. Just keep them weak, keep them suppressed. So then that buys the general time just to get in there and take out that ballista. Though right now, I suspect, please don't get a suddenly very, very fucking lucky shot on my general, please. It would be an embarrassing way for him to go out. Alright, archers, I did tell you, folks on the time militia, don't bother with the artillery crews, because right now my general can just deal with them quite easily. In fact, general, now that you've weakened that one out, I want you to get to the back of the enemy formation and prepare for the final ultimatum. Uh, I just need you here, really, or then again, actually no, because my artillery still has a lot of ammunition left. Get yourselves um, over here and just keep, just keep my archers safe for a little longer. The artillery crew are doing too well right now, they're, they're just getting burned alive. Um, I'm just going to let the rest of my artillery now just uh, fire out, just get the last of their shots out, see how many enemy units we can take out and then we'll just let our spearmen move in and just take out whatever's left and there goes their catapult. I think that brings them to being just about out of artillery now actually. Uh, they are now a artillery free enemy army, in fact how many crow axes do I have left? I've got about 75 of them left. Really their only key unit I've got left now is the unit of spear militia and once more they're all just wearing a fucking wizard hat so um... Yeah, there's something about the wizard hat that makes that makes me respect the unit less. I mean, wizards are cool and all that, but that wizard hat just shows me that they're probably a crap unit. Because, you know, if you're going to battle and we're actually committed about it, you wear a helmet. Unless you were a wizard, then you can wear that wizard hat. Just to know that you're going to do some funky magical shit against you, but they're not going to do funky magical shit against me. They're just going to die. Case in point, those Balkan archers that just got absolutely fucking wrecked by me there. Right, good job. Get yourselves out of there for now, just in case the enemy gets any fucking smart ideas all of a sudden, because you know what they're like all of a sudden. Uh, right. Archers, you just keep targeting whatever unit you can target. And artillery, you... Let's see. Just try just try and hit the centre of their formation for now. A little bit of our artillery just got absolutely blown up again, by the way. It's not their day for that. How much of our artillery have we taken out? Quite a lot of it, in fact. There's just... Lots of randomly collapsed things all over the place. What a shame. That ballista's got designs on my general again. Uh, hmm. Alright, well, they may get designs on it, but for now, general, just keep hovering around. Uh, oh, hang on, there's a retreating unit running up to you. Get rid of it, please. Let's all get rid of those retreaters, you know. There we go. Thank you very much. Good job, lad. Good, good, good job. Right. These lot are just getting absolutely roasted by my missiles now, and I think that we're really at a point now where we probably just start speeding up a little bit, just let the last of our shots get here and there. But then again, looks like the artillery crews are going to come forward and have another go at it. So, I'm going to send a general to go and dispatch them once and for all while my... my yeah, we're, we're pretty much down to our last couple of shots now of artillery. Looks like we're just going to send their crews in just to go in for a last desperate melee now, so general's just going to move around. Kind of just vacuum them up in a way, just try and get them into the centre of his formation. And then that should um, pretty much just give him no chance of survival. We've more or less roasted whatever's left off a uh, main line now. In fact, General, you can move in and attack whatever you want now. Um, if we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Last unit of artillery, just target whatever's left of their line over here and uh, have a good have a good go at it because if I can somehow win this battle with basically not. You know, basically my spear militia have not raised a finger this battle, they, um, they've just been sat in reserve all battle. Probably being quite bored, actually. I mean, they're only going to have one unit to kill, which is going to be the other enemy unit, spear militia, because they might run away, they might retreat, but to be honest, if, I, I, if, you know, if it was me, I would have retreated long ago and realised that, you know, you, you, you've basically lost at this point. You, you've lost pretty much all your army, and I think the Polish have just worked that out. Well, but not the Polish, the Hungarians. 
So, well, no, we're not. We're just refarming my land. I was going to say, I think that we're just going to either run away or go for one last desperate charge. Uh, which of which they've done neither. Uh, right, General. Artillery crews are moving here and there. Um, archers, anything that runs up to you, just beat them the fuck up, Archer. really. I'm, I mean, look, I know there's only two crow axes there. Look, I'm going to... I mean, yeah, I know you tried to kick them in the balls there. Somehow you didn't do that one. I guess it was wearing a big cod piece, but... If we you lot should be able to do that. I mean, I know you just basically tried to ours. fucking deck him in the face with your fist. So, um, good job. Uh, just do what you can. I mean, there you go. You've got them on the run. Right, archers. Open fire on a spear militia. I want I want them to be weakened now. General, let's just uh, not be too committed to the fight just yet. I know we really want to kill whatever's left. It looks like the spear militia are going to come forward now and just try and be the last hope for them. Oh, actually, I think some of their... Um, Crow axes are wearing armor of some description, or they're not. I don't know. Actually, yeah, I think some of them are wearing male armor. How nice, how quaint. It's not going to save them, though. It's not it's barely saving them from the wrath of my archers, who are right now just absolutely cleaning house on them. And ooh, that was a close one there. That nearly got you right. I'll honor just down to its last shot. Uh, right, tab the ship. They're just running in to attack my general. Spears, start making your way forward. It's now your turn to uh, finish off this battle, so start making your way forward. We're going to call this one a day now. Good tidings. The enemy general lies dead. You've sent the base cur to hell. The good news, I thought we suddenly lost him in a very clumsy charge, as in my general, which I don't want him to do. He's supposed to be mauling these enemy units, uh, but right now, yeah, he's actually mauling them. He's uh, already got them to retreat. I think it's because he's also quite dreaded at this point. He has actually been gaining a fair bit of dread. Well, you know, he doesn't have that much, but he's definitely been gaining it. Right, uh, got a unit of enemy spear. Ah! Our foolish general has thrown his life away. That's our chances of victory with it. And then our guy got mauled himself when my retard onager decided to go and accidentally blow up my... Oh, you guys are so off to the stocks. Well, it's not to a stop to you, actually. It's not to a fucking gallows. You you lot are fucked. Right, that was a free cax that we really could have done without. We've won the battle, so his death will have a negative consequence for the battle. But, yeah, he was doing a good job of governing Venice and keeping it strong and steady. And now, well, yeah, that just happened. And, well, that was a big inconvenience to me. Where's his body? Can't see it anywhere. It's gonna be burnt up. Yep, there he is. Taken way before his time. Way before his time. It's really annoying when you can see it coming as well. All right, lads. I know another unit of crow acts and decides to try and throw itself into your flank. Look, I know these guys are supposed to be technically good at archers, but you lot seem to hold that against them. Well, you're not doing very well. You know what? Get yourselves out of there. Uh, Spears, I want one of you to go in there and help out because they're struggling. Uh, you lot, try try and get in there and just finish off the crow axes. All right, you lot, simple job. Close in and kill whatever's left of the enemy now. You outnumber them greatly. It should be a very simple job. Close in, surround them, kill them, make sure they don't escape. Right, you finish off whatever's left of the crow axes. Archer militia, you can make your way out of the battlefield for the day now. Whoever is not retreating, just get yourselves to the, you know, just get yourselves out of here for now. The enemy army flees and the field. let's chase Pursue down whatever we can. Alright, general, go for the full chase Rooney. Spears, you can also chase down whatever you can, please. Make sure we're trying to kill as many of these Hungarians as possible. Let's make sure we get some vengeance for our fallen general, who was sadly claimed by... An incredible freak accident in which my onager decided to be an absolute dick bellend and kill my own general, which was annoying, but, um, well, sometimes shit happens, really. That's just all oh, that happens. Shit happens, and in a way, that's what keeps life spicy and fresh and interesting and twisty when your general randomly gets killed by an onager. This happens way too frequently in this game, I've noticed, that people just get randomly killed by artillery when... It's kind of inconvenient to your day. All right, keep chasing down those town militia. How, what percentage we got by? Ninety-nine percent of the enemy got killed. So we're not going to hit those triple digits, but we, we're pretty much on ninety-nine point nine percent. So you know, just call me Silly Bang. All right, come on, let's get rid of him. I want you to Silly Bang him. Bang, and the invaders are gone. Not quite, though, because my general's bodyguard doesn't have a clue. Come on, do it properly. All of Christendom will be awed by the victory we have won here today. Only 15 of those enemies escaped by the way. 
And well, we must now say goodbye to Francis from all the room. Rest his poor charred body to rest. Um, honestly, very good battle overall. General Spotted Guard, 136 kills. Arch Militia, they've got a lot of kills. Yeoman and Longbowmen, loads of kills. It's just a good strategy we have going for us. On Catapults as well, they brought in plenty of kills. We basically just took out the enemy from a distance. And no, it is not a woman's strategy as we so frequently decry it as. Alright, Hungary, I'm going to give you the benefit of a doubt. Unfortunately, I don't want this army running around when I've got no generals, so, um... Give me the money! Oh, come on, why does no one have to pay me? Alright. So, relations worse than bad way. Hungary now really hates me, but, well, do I really... I, I just don't care what anyone thinks of me anymore. Right. Venice isn't doing good because now it's not only got plague, it's got no governor. Uh, a growth bill policy will hopefully try and stem off some of the population growth, but naturally, when the plague's moved in, it's just not really going to work for us. Everyone's basically just coughing their guts up. Right, regroup whatever we can of our army, and then retrain whatever we can and start recruiting additional units. Recruit additional units of arch militia if you can. And uh, send those Arcabusias and Heavy Bill Militia back to Milan for retraining. Yes, They're doing sire. nothing useful in, in, in Venice right now. Milan, uh, regroup and retrain whatever you can as well, because I know you're behind on your retraining. Uh, and there's also things that you could build, but right now I'm not too much in the building mood. Uh, we will be building stuff soon. Uh, in fact, we're going to build a fort. Uh, you, could you come here and see where you can stick your fort up, please, to, uh, your you know, make life harder for the yes. Pope? Or are we, are we just not going to stick a fort up at all because you're just really bloody awkward? Um, yes, yeah, sir. I don't think we're going to get a fort here, are we? I could try and put one here, maybe. Maybe. As you wish. No, no. Just can't build a fort anywhere. Alright, um, yes, this is a fort free zone yes. then, which is annoying. So, Genoa, you're going to have to bulk up your garrison in case of sudden sudden invasion. So, we're going to get some mortars because they should be good for arcing shots over the wall. Get some archer and spear militia, and um, I think we'll invest in cannon towers when we are able to do so. Uh, because I want to make sure that the towns around Florence are as strong as it can be. So, in fact, uh, Rome is going to start working on some ballista towers. And also continue recruiting some additional uh, units to provide it with some more strength. Uh, Admiral Hi, Jasper, sir. by the way, I need you to come here. Yes, sir. And Full oh, great! Save. Look, a Sicilian navy's just got in the way. However, I oh, can't sir. dock him off. Right. Ships ready. God damn Mongolians getting in the way. Oh well. Uh, blockade we the port blockaded, for a bit sir. of fun then. I guess. Uh, but what do we know about Palermo, by the way? Garrison's not too strong. Uh, it's currently garrisoned by Bofilio Caracci. And he's got three units of disbanded Norman knights and a unit of armored sergeants in the towns under plague. Prince Corrado is also here with some units of disbanded Norman knights. Right, so he's got some strong infantry. My infantry here is quite strong as well, so, uh, you know, I can definitely take him on. But I'm going to need more units in order to do so. So we definitely need to work on getting some more archers. And I've got sufficient artillery, but... I'm really going to need cavalry for this one. Oh, and we also need to upgrade Naples, so let's definitely do that now. Uh, so, I could definitely send for more units here, but... We will not surrender these waters Admiral either. Sicko is on his way to drop off more enemies, by the way. You want us gone? And, then do something about it. Well, I'm not really going to do anything about it, because I don't really have any. Admiral Karada, I know what he's carrying. He's just basically carrying some runaways. Uh, start working on the Hulk in Cagliari, by the way, because, yeah, we seem to be losing naval control of this particular area. Oh, Admiral Lawrence is in a better position though, so uh, let's see if we can finish off Admiral Miguel here and get rid of him, that would be advantageous, uh, but we can't, we can't tackle the annoyance of Admiral Prezibo right now, but we could probably deal with Admiral Abate, so let's get rid of him as well, there we go, may as well just try and keep the other navies weak, make your way back to a jacker where I'm going to group you up with some more naval units, I'm going to start recruiting some extra cogs here. Alright, good, 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 right. John, where are you up? Right, he's three turns away from Marseille now. He, he, he's taking Ships his time right now, but he's nearly there. Uh, hey, oh Ambrose, you're king. headed back for Toulouse. Um, yeah, we're retraining whatever we can here. Uh, we're probably just in a position now where we can wait for the enemy, but at the same time, uh, there's still some retraining to do, so retrain whatever you can now. And um, we'll probably just have to do some frequent retraining now because of the 
bloody plague. It's going to start eating away at my troop numbers. We will not uh, Admiral Martin is just sailing around looking for trouble, by the way, as is Admiral Jesus. We're not you carrying want us anything. Gone? Then do uh, something right. about it. Can you get my lads disembarked, please? Because I need. Oh, you can't disembark till next yes, time. Right, next time we're getting sale. my knights disembarked here. Uh, Nottingham. Yeah, I'm just about out of money now. So, you know what, Nottingham, if you want to just provide me with some extra knights. Just so then uh, Anthony has some extra units to bring with him on his little adventure. Oh wait, you've got retraining to do. Alright, do your retraining then. Uh, retrain as whatever you can because we're going to be sending him on a little adventure. Yes. Um, right, what else can we do this turn? Breslau, you know what. Get some... Uh, well, it's getting a bit boring just throwing in the same units all the time here. We need to upgrade my recruitment options here. Um... Innsbruck, what are we up with right now? We're doing the retraining of troops. Um, I know it's boring, but Prague, can you just continue recruiting some more militia troops? Just, just because Breslau, you, 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 I, you're a town that's targeted by the Polish frequently, so I just want to make sure you've got some enough troops to do with whatever Prince Marcy and the, you know, the so-called Merciful is bringing. And we should be in a better position after that. Right, so that's pretty much all the money spent now. So I don't believe there is anything left for us to do this turn. There's no rebels for us to deal with. Um, well, I know there are rebels up here to deal with. But right now, I'm not dealing with them. Because right now, we are going to be dealing with Prince Mar Sin. Uh, so, yeah. We're actually in a good position for the end of this turn. So we are going to move on to the next turn. We're going to observe the world around us once more. See if anything interesting happens. Hopefully, nothing horrible happens. But you never know, really. So, um... That being said, let's jump on to the next turn and observe the world. Here's what we know about Vienna, by the way. It's a crossbow party with Leopold and Prince Kurt manning the garrison. Is okay, fleet. so the Spanish have intercepted my fleet over here. Let's see if we can fight out. Strength versus one to one, so it's going to go either way. Went the wrong way, sadly. Sire, the battle is lost. And then we got intercepted again. Enemy and then it went even worse. Us, Sire, we should disengage. The enemy shows no mercy. Okay, so Prince Marcin wishes to engage Captain Paul, and I will honour his challenge. Uh, because it looks like it could be an even battle, and, well, you know what, I have a, a nicely rounded army that could give him a fight. Uh, so the strength pressure is one-to-one, -one, though we are outnumbered, and Prince Marcin is quite the competent commander. So what do we know about him? Well, uh, it's going to be interesting, this battle. Um, so... And by the way, if you want to know what that noise was, uh, something's just fallen off my desk. That's always fun. Uh, so he's bringing two units of town militia, some spear militia, some Slav mercs, but then he's bringing the ever so lovely Polish nobles. He's also got a unit of Balkan archers among his troops. Uh, mercenary crossbowmen, mercenary spears, plenty of crusader knights, uh, and then some more crusading sergeants. He's got quite an infantry corps, but he lacks missiles, lacks artillery. Uh, we could fight this battle, but I feel like I'm going to be taking quite a few casualties, mainly for the lack of my spears. But, I have Yeoman. Yeoman can plant those stakes, and when his cavalry can run into them and just get absolutely thunderfucked. So, um, I'll take him on. I think we can fight this one defensively, and I think we'll be able to hold him off. Let's get in there and, you know, prevent a siege from ever happening. Two arms, men! Form up! Okay, so let's uh, prepare to defend ourselves. So, quite an interesting battlefield that we have right now. Um, we have sort of a slight forested area. We've got a hill, and then it's just kind of all damp and horrible. Uh, so, a hilly forest that actually sounds like an ideal place for me to uh, be deploying myself, because I can hide my men, and then I've also got an elevation advantage, so I can already hide a couple of my men. 
probably get our stakes planted here. So, um, yeah, I think that's going to be the way we play it. Um, that being said, I want to make sure as many of my men are hidden as possible. So, I've got five units of longbows here who would make a very good line. Uh, if I was to plan them all like this, they'd actually all be hidden. And, yeah, you know, I've got a fairly good line there. We'll have plenty of stakes laid down as well, which will be hidden from the enemy site. And basically, they will come in and they will, you know, they'll suffer. That being said, just to make sure stakes are deployed as well as it can be, I want to make sure that we are just uh, arcing our line. So then, if the enemy tries to get around us, there's more stakes to try and catch them. So it's going to force them to basically take the really long way around my flank. So, there we go. That'll definitely slow down our foe here, and I am happy with that position. So, let's get our archers set up in that particular position there. And we can call them deployed. And, oh, by the way, archers, guard, do not skirmish. You will skirmish when I tell you to skirmish. Spear militia or spear levies, you are going to be here. You are going to deploy just before, just behind my lines. Now, you are technically revealed, or at least some of you are revealed. However... That may play to our advantage because they don't know where I've got my archers, so they can basically just sit around and one-up. And again, if I can maybe key you around a bit stronger, I can get you hidden. Because you lot aren't a captain unit. Um, no, you guys just aren't very good at hiding, are you? Uh, maybe if I put you a little deeper into the forest, maybe? No? Here? No, they're just too loud and too hooligan-y to, uh, you know, like, how about here? There we go, I've got them hidden now. That's good, I, I just wanted to make sure I could get some more, as many units hidden as possible. So if I can keep them hidden here, that's fine. Um, I want to keep my infantry corps quite central, so um, if I position them here, they're not going to be hidden particularly well. But I kind of want to play that to my advantage once more. Uh, then again, they actually are going to be hidden quite well, so uh, maybe I'm playing it a bit too well to my advantage. Uh, so I've got two units of dismounted feudals here. Um, about feudals if you could just deploy yourselves here as well and then my armored swordsman will make up the center where there might be the brunt of the fighting these lots should be capable of basically bringing down the uh bringing down the enemy crusader sergeants and the enemy mercenary spearmen that being said they're gonna have a work cut out for them doing it because well while i do have a lot of knights they're not going to do too well against crusading sergeants that being said, Knights, I'm not really going to hide you because I don't really see too much point in hiding you. Or maybe I could get you in for some surprise attacks, like maybe here. But there isn't really a lot of forest for hiding my men in. So, um, you know, I can hide them as well as I can. But it's an uphill battle with some units, unfortunately. If I put these two here, actually, while they're cascade into each other, they are technically hidden. So, you know, I'm going to keep a hidden flank in force here because that's uh, my way of having a bit of fun. And then I'll put the last of my units here. Where some of them are hidden, but they do know where the captain's unit is, which is good because they'll hopefully just advance direct towards him. So, we are going for a defensive forest battle here, so I'm using the hills to keep my units hidden. So the enemy will be basically marching into a bit of a trap. My lo my uh, yeoman will basically provide plenty of range to dodge the enemy with. The stakes will slow down the enemy cavalry charges. My I have some hidden cavalry units here, and I'll have some generic cavalry units trying to get around the flanks. Um... It's going to be a bit messy when uh, melee begins, but, well, yeah. They've got, you know, Prince Marcin's got quite the army, but, however, his capture or his death would mean a lot to me because they might tell the Polish to stay away for a few more turns because, well, they do get annoying eventually, do the Polish. Anyway, let's start this battle and see how it goes. Okay, so the enemy has once more deployed quite centrally, so they're kind of playing away... I was hoping they would, so we're going to let them come to us. My archers are firing at will, so they will open fire as soon as they're able to. Hopefully we can take down some of those Balkan archers, because, well, they are irritating, are those guys? Incredibly irritating. I just really don't like them. Like, I really don't. Uh, what's marching way out on the flanks, by the way? We've got a unit of uh, Polish nobles. Of course it'd be the Polish nobles. The one absolute pest of a unit who never fails to annoy me. I'll have to send some mailed knights to uh, to uh, keep them under control. It's like they always know that I have hidden some knights here. Um, that being said, the enemy is just advancing quite linearly. Um, we will be dealing with the mercenary spearmen. And the, uh, they've got the crusader side at the moment. We can easily tell which one are crusaders due to their shielding patterns. Um, yeah, the crusader knights are going to be a bit tricky to deal with because they are basically a unit of... Uh, oh, hang on. Alright, so yeah, they're using the Polish nobles to scout out my positions and uh, basically get in the way and be a bit of a pain in the ass. That being said, along the way, they're just doing everything they can just to uh, 
Give him a few shots. Right, spring a unit of knights on him. Try and get some knights to keep him busy for a little bit. Archers, uh, focus fire on bringing down the enemy infantry, please. I want you to make sure that they are taken out. I don't really want you to waste your shots on the Polish nobles. They're, they're, they're a crap unit, I know, and they're very annoying, but... I always make your focus on dealing with the enemy infantry. You lot, keep it loose. Keep those Polish nobles busy. I know you may lose a few men in the process, but if you keep your formation loose, you'll be able to trap them. Polish nobles are the best in melee, after all. So once you get in there, you'll, you'll, you know, you'll, you'll suppress them. Okay, fight's getting underway now, so my archers doing everything they can to get some shots out. However, the enemy is now just going in for a full charge. Okay, lad, pull Our it back. Are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the Pull enemy. it back, bring the infantry forward. Bring, bring, bring forward the big guys now. And they are going to clash right into my stakes, by the way. And hopefully someone just randomly die on the stakes. Oh, no, I just can't just walk past them, but, you know, they do it quite badly. Right, you lot fight here. You lot take on this unit. And, oh, I see cavalry just trying to get in on that stake action, which, uh, you know, always ends about as well as it do is it's supposed to do. All right. Oh, it's going to be a mess of a melee battle. Right, knights, get around that flank and prepare to uh, take out the enemy on that angle. You lot try and tangle those crusade knights. You lot, oh, you've attracted the attention of a general's bodyguard, right? Sorry, but it had to be you. Rest in pieces. Uh, look, try and tangle the general as, as well as you can. I'll uh, try and get you some help as soon as I can. Right. Hello there, lads. Thank you for joining me. Right. Try and keep those mercenary crossbowmen occupied and try and take out their artillery as well. If we can try and get some hammer and anvil charges on them, we'll be in a much better position. Long Yeoman, thank you for pulling back to a more strategic position. Re reform and await further orders. I'm not going to have you shoot into this one just yet because there's an overwhelming chance you're just basically killing my own men and I really don't want that to be the case. <coughs> Swordsman, I'll hold him line as well as I can, as well as my spears. Um, the enemies just kind of lumped all their units into one supercharge, so there's very little discretion as to what's going where. And while I really do want to hammer an anvil our enemy, there is an issue now in that I've planted stakes and basically I could end up getting killed by my own stakes if I'm not careful where I charge. Uh, and look, I know you want to play with the Crusader Sergeants, but you know what? Try and get away from the Crusader Sergeants. There's a Prince over there. Kill the Prince and I think we'll pretty much break the backbone of their army. Their zeal will be coming from the Prince. And we are pushing some units away. So yeah, you give chase. Try and bring down those Crusader Sergeants if you can, please. Oh, no, wait, you've retreated. Right, that's not good. Okay, heavy infantry. You need to get in there and try and contribute as well as you can to this battlefield as well. Right, where, how's that prince going? Right, his bodyguard's really starting to collapse. So, um, he isn't going to last forever. But that being said, they're throwing as many knights as they can into this battle as well. Where are my other knights? Uh, they're tangling with some more crusader knights. So, they're not going to last much longer. All right. I can't see this battle going my way for much longer. I think we're only going to hold this this position so long. My units are basically just joining the slaughter. They are killing as many units as they can, but they're struggling. They are really trying as hard as they can, but their stamina isn't going to keep up forever. And my spearmen are already starting to lose their faith as well. All right, lads, if we if we can kill that general, we could potentially turn this battle around. However, I am coming off of mind that we may need to retreat because yeah my archers have just been caught out right archers get yourselves out of there I can't I can't protect you therefore you need to, you need to be exiting this battlefield the enemy's taking control of this area and they are surrounding my men and they are killing us we need to get out of here uh, right <sighs> don't engage which is gonna make getting away hard right we'll pull out whatever we can pull out uh, whoever's engaged unfortunately has to stay uh, that's kind of a rule because I, I, I cannot pull out a unit that's engaged because, well, they'll just, they'll just basically get, you know, the enemy will turn the bait and they'll just kill me. Right, how is the prince going now? He's, he's, he's still doing way too good for it. He's doing way too well. I think the prince is going to get out of this one alive. Lads, just keep on that, keep on that general as hard as you can. He is the priority target. He must die. Just, you know, I don't know why, I don't know why some of you are charging the other way, by the way. I don't know why I want to chase down some Vulcan Arch. I know they're, I know they're a fucking annoying unit to deal with, but come on. I don't know why you're being a bit dumb. Get on that General's bodyguard and kill him as soon as you can, please, because they've got to go down, right? 
How's my infantry doing? They're fighting, they're fighting a good fight still. Uh, I've got my archers on retreat now. And they're just being hounded by the enemy cavalry. Men. Look, just get out of there, lads, because I can't I can't protect you and I just need you I just need you to get to safety. So just get out of there. Make sure the enemy can't hound us any further. Then again, ah You are holding out against it. You're right, archers. Let's get a spy. Turn, face, and attack. See if you can inspire your running away comrades. So you know what? We've isolated them. We might we might be able to actually have a bit of fun with them. Uh, that being said, if that prince don't die soon, I'm going to have to just get out of here nevertheless. Right, uh, where is that general gone? He is currently pushing on my main line. I don't know if he's made it into my stakes yet, though. Um, I feel like he's actually gone past... I think he's just gone right past them and just ignored them. Anyway, uh, Knight, you need to try and move into him. I need him gone, really. He's going to come out and face you once more. He's going to take up the challenge, but so far, he hasn't really... He, he's lost, you know, probably about just over half his bodyguard, but he's really, really maintained his stamina so far in this particular battle. And, right, Crusader Knights, um, oh, it's just not happening with us, guys. I thought we could maybe just turn around and try and wing out a victory just by with an overwhelming melee, but now I've got more enemies coming in bound just to get in our way. Alright lads, I don't think you can pull it off, get out of there, just get out of there, you gave it a good go while you could but I need you out of there, your safety comes first and I'm just putting it in, at risk. Lads, if we can kill the prince that's fine, I'll consider that objective achieved but once we've done that we need to get out of here, this is not a battle we'll win, win triumphantly. Our foolish general has thrown his life away, perhaps our chances of victory with it. And the enemy prince has just taken the life of my captain. Alright, see if you can kill him once more, but if you can't, you can't, but I'm going to start pulling my infantry out as soon as I can. But then again, infantry, you have done a remarkable job in not only keeping your numbers up quite well. I mean, Arm and Swordsman, they've taken so few casualties, by the way, but I think we need to start pulling units out because, yeah, the enemy general's going to live at this rate. Mailed Knights, I know you just retreated, but then you just reformed just like that. Try and get into him once more. There's only... Look, he's only got four units left. We might just be able to kill it. If we can kill him, that's fine. We'll just run. We'll leave the battle regardless. But we need that bastard to die. He's got some pretty mighty powerful knights with him. Uh, I won't I will doubt their combat strength. They're absolutely fantastic. But ooh, hang on. The Polish is starting to break up a little bit. All right. There might still be a, a way in. Even if I've just thrown away all my archers now by retreating them. But, you know was of the mindset that we were going to lose, right? Heavy infantry, you know what, you've got, you've got units at your back. Get in there, kill them off. Maybe we, maybe we can try and get the enemy's morale to cascade at this point. Uh, some of my knights did retreat, by the way. Uh, you lot, try and get into that bodyguard. I know, I mean, look, it's just the prince himself now. He's a lone man. Kill him if you must. Well, it's not that if you must. You must kill him. Simple as that, really. Kill him, take a prisoner, do whatever you want. Either way, he's ours now. His bodyguard has given their lives fighting the fight of protecting him, but now he has no chance. Levy Spearman, thank you for rejoining us, by the way. I know you're incredibly tired, however, I need you to come back into this battlefield. We can take control of this one, I think, now. Come on, lads. Bring that prince down, or he's going to run away. He knows he's beaten this time Our around. Men have fought long and are becoming tired. I know they are becoming tired. They have fought a very, very good fight. All right, we need support for these knights, actually. Right, Levy Spears. Oh, God, there's Crusader Knights looking for a way in there. Right, lads. Those Crusader Knights are up to something. I need you to try and intercept them if you can. I know you're incredibly tired, but those knights must also be doing quite badly at this point. They haven't exactly got a lot of morale. Oh, hang on. The general's just reappeared, and he's broken my unit. Fucking hell. This prince seems to have a bit of reputation for, well, being a man who can ruin my plans. Okay, how are we doing over here? Armoured swordsmen are just fighting as hard as they can. Spotted feudal knights. I sent them to go and kill some archers, but now they're, yeah, they're going to get flanked and they're going to get an absolute, absolute hammering. These guys have actually just become impetuous because they've just now decided that they are basically winning. Alright. Armoured swordsmen. Get out of there. I've got there's more units coming in. You're not gonna win this one. Just pull out now while you while you have the opportunity to get out of here alive. Because the enemy has Lord taken this field. We've lost half of our men. 
I know we've lost half of our men, and now we must get all of our men off this battlefield. It's not a victorious one anymore. Let's get out of here and make sure our men can escape this battlefield and live to fight another day. They've done a glorious job of trying to weaken the enemy. In fact, we took down 84% of his army. But we're not going to be able to finish the job with what I have left. Then again, oh, no, they're routed. This prince is an absolute tosser. All right, lads, get out of there. Foes appear to be gaining the upper hand in this battle. Yep, they can call it a victory if they want, but... Defeat is ours on this day. We have nothing to be ashamed of. It was but a cruel twist of fate that snatched victory from our grasp. A cruel twist of fate and probably a lack of infantry in my army was what cost me this victory today. But, you know what? While I may have lost, I've actually lost a lot of my men this time around, but you know what, Prince Marcin, he also lost absolutely loads of men as well. So, in a way, neither, neither person won. Prince Marcin may say, well, we were last standing, but you know what? He's, he's weakened, he's in my lands, and we're going to find and kill him. So for now, Prince Marcin, well done on your victory. Don't get comfortable though. Your army's in a weakened state and you're in my lands. I will be sending out a follow-up attack to finish you off. Let's hope Captain Paul's men can safely make it back to the castle though for retraining. And those who survived will be honoured. Sir, we should retreat. And your boots! The enemy fleet is upon us! When I mean, here's a battle that we're not really interested in, but we'll have to fight it now. And we lost. Great. Sire, the battle is lost! We'll drop anchor until morning, sire. Right, we're having trouble in the sea, but Tostig Gascoigne wants to join the family, by the way. He's 19, he wants to marry Annabella Underwood. Eh, he hasn't really got too much for him here, but he's 19, he's young, he's moldable. So, um, you know, he's got very little command, but he's technically chivalrous. He's got, yeah, his loyalty's okay. He's on, you know, half loyalty. He's already gone bald at 19, though, which is a shame, but... That being said, he's a confident attack defender. Uh, he's brave, which gives him more morale. He, he can fight at night. He's a promising commander as well. He's sexually liberated as well, by the way, which makes him popular. He's a fair fighter. He's religious. Join the family. And man-made inferno. A new way of working metal is now being practiced in the village of Lafayette in Sweden, somewhere in my empire, um, and adopted in Western Europe. Uh, housed in a great building, mighty water-driven bellows blast air into a furnace that produces a blaze so fierce and unworldly that the iron from within the ore flows out as a stream of molten metal. Even though the raw iron that pours from this new furnace is very brittle, vast amounts of the stuff can be made with relative ease, with which a learner smith can easily treat to produce incredibly resilient weapons and armor, so I believe we have now just discovered steel. And a great mortality spreads. Life in civilized worlds is becoming even more morbid and bleak than in known history. Every man, woman and child is accustomed to the sight of their people stacked in piles before being burned. The vain hope that the fires may cleanse this foul doom from the land. Although not everyone is falling victim into its deadly embrace, the plague is still decimating the population everywhere it travels. Yeah, we are suffering there, and Stockholm is also undergoing some rioting. However, they did get it out of their system relatively quickly, which is fine. Uh, merge up and retrain whatever you can, repair whatever was damaged, and then so on and so forth. Right. Death stocks land, by the way. Um, plague has struck the following settlements and also affected a lot of people who may are now either suffering or are probably dead. Uh, Milan, Venice, Cagliari, Dijon, Bern, Bordeaux, Genoa, Ajaka, Toulouse, and Naples are now under plague. Godwin, Luz, John of Ashwell, Gregory of Westbury, Luz, Luz, Morcar and Christopher of Durham are now suffering from plague or have basically died. Luz, Luz, yeah, he's now he's now a plague bearer, so basically he's, his clock's ticking. Uh, John of okay. Westbury, are you carrying a plague? No, no he's not. Uh, and he's so close to Marseille, by the way, he takes his bloody time getting around places, this wish guy they'd does, never been born, sir. he'll get there soon, he'll get there soon. I anyway, uh, prisoners executed, the Polish executed the any prisoners they took. Don't get comfy, Prince Marcin. I'll be uh, finishing strength. you off. 
Um, Captain Bavwit, group your men up. And you can't take Krakow now because the Polish are reinforcing that town. Um, however, what you do have left, I don't know. You wouldn't be strong enough to take on Prince Martin. However, Fawn, would you be capable of sending troops king. over? Fawn will send reinforcements. So I want you in on this attack. I want you here. Yes. And I want you to help out. Um, end of turn report, by the way. I'm losing a lot of money. And the plague is most likely to blame. Since I am losing population across the board. Uh, faction announcements, however. Uh, Barnaby Underwood uh, unfortunately passed away of natural causes. William Spiner and Marion Boa have been born. Uh, King Thomas is now a cruel leader. Uh, he's getting more dread. Admiral Nicholas now has a soothsayer vote. Stephen of Canterbury has false documents. And Joffrey Chapman has a bard. Well done. Okay, uh, construction report by the way. Renz has a town hall, though it is now with plague. I recommend we expand our food production though, to try and recoup our population losses as soon as possible. Uh, Paris has a brothel once more. Get irrigation. We need to recoup our population losses. Breslau, once more, you know what you're doing. And then Prague, you've already done it, uh, but we're, we're pretty much out of money at this point. Uh, as much as I want to build the council chambers, you don't really need it. Bologna, anything that you should be building. An armourer sounds like a good idea, but at the same time, I'm very low on Florence, and I think there's going to be a lot of recruitment this turn, so I'm going to hold off. In terms of recruitment, though, Breslau's recruited some additional archer and spear militia, Venice some archer militia, Cagliari a Hulk, Genoa a mortar and some archer and spear militia, Ajaco some cogs, Rub some spear militia, Naples some archer militia, Fawn some feudal knights and armoured swordsmen. <coughs> I mean, it's just a lot of retraining. And Maritel versus his Tosta Gascoigne marries the now Annabella Gascoigne. So, well done. That is very nice. Um, do I have a princess by the I just wanted to check this out. King Thomas, do you have any daughters or, you know, because I know I had, you know, Banana Rama hat who's now just, you know, I haven't had a lot of luck with princesses in this one. I mean, well, I might, yeah, you look nice by the way, Mariana Chapman. Uh, I mean, I had my guy, I mean, yeah, look at that. Uh, by the way, Cecilia died, but we could never be bothered colouring her face in. Uh, he, you know, married Edward Canmore, who then just went and threw his own life away. Uh, no, King Thomas ha doesn't have a wife or anyone. He's, he's a bit lonely. That's a shame. Uh, by the way, the Pope doesn't like me, if you didn't know that. I, I seem to have this thing about being excommunicated all the time. Uh, Venice, by the way, um, I'm probably just losing garrisons left, right and centre right now. So, I'd retrain what I could, but it's going to just start sucking away so much money. Uh, the Mongolian Navy. Peace, have... but not regions. Peace, but not regions. Okay, that's fine. Just say man with your dows, which is just a Arab sailing vessel, if you wanted to know. Uh, all right. Well, sail around, but let's just hope the Mongolians don't get up to something naughty. Uh, Admiral George, by the way, uh, you're not going to be able to tangle with Admiral Prince Ebo. Engage me or be gone. Ajaka, work on more cogs, please, and then retrain whatever you can. Uh. Right, Admiral Jasper, by the way, I want you to get your spy disembarked, so if you can do that, please, that'd be brilliant. And then, Admiral Jacobo is probably going to come over and, you know, kick your teeth in, so get yourself back to Rome if you can for retraining. Uh, right, Hugh of Alchester, I want you to infiltrate Palermo and just monitor the Sicilians from here, please. And I think you went in properly, so there we go. Right, now we can just monitor them here and hopefully... We will observe them and be wary of their upcoming moves. Uh, keep retraining the garrison here, by the way, if you could, please. I want to make sure it's in tip-top condition for when we try and take that town. Uh, more Sicilians have landed here to get in the way. Uh, Admiral Lawrence, you got kicked around a little bit, sort of. Uh, you can take on Admiral Abatabo, so let's get rid of him. Good victory. I managed to scare him off. Right. You're probably not going to be you, you won't be joining up with Admiral Perkin, however. If you want to go on blockade Marseille, we, you, we can have you move port. in there. Uh, you know what? Admiral Perkin as well. I know you're quite weak, but still, Ships I want you to transcend to Admiral Very Miguel and try and get rid of him. If we try and just do some naval cleanup, we can probably just keep lands uh, easier for us. Don't attack Admiral Chicago, but he'll be, uh, he'll be a slight pain. So, head back for your area. Uh, Admiral John, nothing you can do right now. Uh, Cagliariva, if you could produce some extra hulks, that'd be useful. But then again, uh, wait, I might be doing some retraining very soon because there's a battle to fight here. But that is a battle we are going to be fighting another day, my friends. For now, I am actually going to call it an episode. So, 
what did we achieve today? Well, we get the Hungarians out of Venice, and then we had a battle against the Polish. That didn't quite go our way, but we'll be following that up next episode. And we'll also be doing a few other things. We'll be dealing with the Sicilians here, and we'll be trying to get aggressive. I Well, actually, we will be getting aggressive. We'll be marching out of Innsbruck to take Vienna, so uh, we'll have to deal with the armies of Captain Adolf, yes, but you know what? They, would, they just turned into rebel armies anyway if I took Vienna, so we're going to move in and we're going to smash from now and then take the town. But until then, I do hope you have a lovely evening and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. So, enjoy the rest of your evening and continue being contented. See ya.